Welcome to a new reading vlog. I, it's Friday night. It is, let's see, it's 6 18, and we are about to go to the bookstore because I just, I really, I just have. I don't know if I'm gonna buy books or if I'm just gonna book sh prowls, window shop, or if I'm just gonna smell books. But one thing for sure is I'm gonna get some tea while I browse the books. So that's gonna happen. I wanna kick off this vlog. Um, I wanna tell you what I'm currently reading, what I wanna read, and we have some packages to open. So yeah, what I'm currently reading. Well, I am, let's see, I'm 7% into When the Moon Hatched by Sarah A. Parker. Now, I did order the paperback to this because I, the paperback is really pretty. And if I end up hating the book, I just won't read the paperback and I'll like return it or whatever. But yeah, so I am currently reading this and I started it last night. And okay, it, it was like the prologue is very interesting. I was very intrigued. I'm not gonna lie. It's very lyrical and yeah, I just, I was brain dead though. So like I was super tired and I only read the prologue and the first chapter, but that's what I have going on. Um, and then I started Clowning and Cornfield on audio because I got it, the audio via my library. And I'm really struggling with it. I'm not gonna lie. This might be one that I have to audibly, I mean, physically read, which is so weird because normally I can inhale thrillers audibly very, very easily. And this one is just like going in one ear out the other. I don't know why. I don't know what the dealio is. There's that, okay. And then um, I was thinking about starting Hopeless the other night. I love this paperback so so much so I'm still gonna read it on my Kindle though I think because there's a chance I might hate this book <laughs> I just I'm not sure about this one okay so I'll probably pick that up on my Kindle and then skin of the sea I really want to get to this because I got the audiobook in my library and yeah and then Empire of the Damned I might pick up next week maybe not this week but next week and then of course I'm in the middle of Measure of a Man. I'm like 300 pages in to that and I still need to pick up Bride for Patreon, but I'm not gonna do that until the end of the month. Um, I'm gonna knock that sucker out towards the end of the month and not stress out about it. And then lastly, <laughs> I'm really, really in the mood to pick up Tomie. I am in the mood for manga in general and I put this on my March TBR, so hopefully I can get to this. Let's open up some packages and then I'm gonna go to Barnes and Noble and we're gonna do some tea sipping and book shopping and book sniffing and I'm excited. So first off is this package, which I am 90% sure I know what this is. Yay, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. This is Manon's shirt. Uh, this is my favorite of all of the designs that the shop has done. I just, I'm obsessed. Witchling, and then like the design is so cool. It says from now until the darkness claims us. Obsessed, obsessed. The red and the black, absolute perfection. Okay, and then I have this package from Amazon. Which I did order myself. A little 10k I wasn't going to I wasn't gonna like treat myself to like a celebration of 10k and then I was like but like why not you know like why not so I did order a little something from Amazon and that should come later next week I think so but it should be in this vlog but this I'm super excited for because I am back in my romanticy era okay full-fledged i am just in the mood for romanticy and this has taken me a really long time to be able to say that because romanticy is so hit or miss for me but i ordered this off of amazon and it's got these really pretty sprayed edges 
Oh, the book is white. I love that. I love the feel of this. This is like a really nice quality dust jacket. This is a really good dust jacket, okay? I wish all dust jackets were like this dust jacket. It's like so thick. Okay, so beautiful book. I hope that I like this. This is A Fate Inked in Blood by Daniel L. Jensen. All the girlies are loving this, so I really hope I like it. I was a fantasy girly, and then I got into, big into romance, and so like I really am like leaning back into that fantasy, but like still loving my romance. But I'm also like, I really just... Now, if the fantasy books I pick up, or romanticy books I pick up in the next like month or so, if none of them hit, who is to say how long this feeling will last? But like right now, I'm just really in the mood. Really, really in the mood. So I got this. And then I really do want to own this book physically when the moon hatched. So we'll see about that as well. Okay, so then we have this package and I have no idea what's in here. I texted my friend Hannah and I was like, Hannah Banana, why do I have a package from you? And she was like, just open it. And I was like, yes. I'm like, you say jump and I say how high. I don't know what she sent me. Oh my God. That's an eyeball. What the fuck? Oh my god. Well, I'm scared. That's an eyeball. Y'all, that's an eye. <laughs> oh my god. This kind of looks like an A, but it's not. Oh, it looks like she put Lachlan. And then she put this looks like an A, but it's not. Oh my god, Hannah. <laughs> what is this? I saw this. Wait, should I, should I look? Okay. I saw this on Depop and it made me lol and then immediately think of you. It's clearly used, but I watched it. So maybe give it a niece, give it a nice, so maybe give it to my nieces to snuggle on or literally just left. Oh, my, her nieces. She's talking about my dogs. Okay. <laughs> or literally just laugh at it and then throw it out. Um, Hannah, I'm not throwing it out. <laughs> But like, what is going on? Oh my god, what is it? Wait, I'm scared. Because that was for sure an eyeball. Y'all are going to see it before I do. This thing is huge. What? Is that Draco's face? Oh. My. God. Oh. My. God. Jake! Up. Oh my god. Yay! I need him to see this so bad. This is so funny. I am am cherishing this literally forever. Oh my god. <laughs> Are you joking? Are you joking? <laughs> Why is it so good? Like the printing is so good. I am literally in love with this blanket. Oh my god, why is he not coming in here? I'm gonna f call him. Jake! <laughs> Look at this! <laughs> Hannah! Hannah! <laughs> oh my god, that's so f ridiculous. I love it. It's so funny. Look at that! <laughs> I'm dead. I've died. It's actually so good though. Like the printing. I opened up the box and I was like, that's a eyeball. And in the back of my head, I'm like, it looks like Draco's eye, but I don't want to get my hopes up. <laughs> but like, this is so cute. Oh my god. You're crazy. I'm keeping it. Now I can just sleep with Draco every night. <laughs> this is amazing. I need to send Hannah a voice note as soon as possible. This just like made my entire night. Hannah, seriously, I, I don't have words. Like this, I, <laughs> it's 
the little things in life, okay? And it's Draco's face on a blanket that just like makes me so happy. I really don't have words. You're amazing, okay? Like, you really undersell and underestimate yourself. That's all I'm gonna say. That's all I'm gonna say. Because I have tears in my eyes right now. Okay, <laughs> I do have like two other packages to open, but I'm really not even interested in them right now. Like, truly, these are not going to be as near as cool as what I just opened. This blanket is absolutely the coolest. But, um, let me see if I can open this. I think I know what this is. I ordered two dust jackets from Etsy, or I ordered one dust jacket. And it got lost in the mail. So I think this is what was resent. Oh my God, why is this so hard to open? Okay. Oh no, this is from Mystic Box. What? Wait, what? Is this a joke? Is this a joke? Is this a prank? I'm sorry. What is going on? Mystic box. Is this a prank? Are you serious right now? It's like an overlay for some words on a page. This is like the stupidest package ever. That's offensive. I just spent how long opening that up? Okay, this I think, this has like a cool little seal on the top. Like, what is that called? This I think is the Etsy. Also, editing Lachlan better be coming up, cover, cover, covering up. Better be covering up her address, like, jeez. Okay, let's open this. I'm about to break my blade, oh my gosh. I think Ashley gave this to me. Okay, why is this so hard? Okay, I'm gonna close my blade now before I like stab myself on. Why? Why, why, or what the? I'm sorry, but like that's so unnecessary. Uh, those little like sparkly things, ew, I don't like the way they feel and they're just like all over me now, that's great. Okay. I feel like I keep getting trolled by packages and like, I'm not talking about Hannah's because this one was actually perfection, but like, what is going on? Ew, why would you? Ooh. Okay, well, I have a bunch of glitter shit to clean up now because I don't know why. God, I really just like don't even want to open this anymore. I'm like so frustrated at those, all this glitter that just fell out on my onto my lap. Like I was not expecting that. Okay. Oh my god. This is so too much. Like this is like, why is this child proof? It's just paper. Okay, sorry, I'm having a, a time. Okay, so this is the dust jacket. So they gave me an extra one because the original shipment got lost. Oh, it looks like they gave me two extra. So that was nice of them. Um, the reason I ordered these is because I wanted an extra dust jacket for Acromath that was, like, thick. It doesn't feel super thick. It's actually... I'm, like, already ruining it just by holding it. Um, that's the dust jacket. I don't know if you can tell, but, like, I just dented the hell out of this. Like, I just dented the crap out of it just now, just by holding it. So, I don't know about the quality of this, but they are pretty. 
I'm just kind of disappointed because I had messaged the seller ahead of time and I was like, hey, how thick are these? Because like, I'm looking for really thick dust jackets. Now they're, they are pretty, but they're bending as I'm holding them up. So I'm just not sure. I'm just like really not sure about this right now. <laughs> Um, and they were really expensive. Like that one dust jacket was like 30 bucks. So they are beautiful. They're very pretty, but it's super thin. And yeah, it's denting so much just from me holding it. I'm like, I don't know if y'all can tell, but just from me taking it out of the package, it has like significantly yeah anyway so there's that no offense to the seller like you know they were really nice to just give me those two extra dust jackets but the quality is not what I was expecting um and I have glitter all over my lap that I need to clean up so I am gonna clean this it up and then go to Barnes and Noble. We're gonna first go out to dinner and get something to eat. So yeah. Anyway, I'm excited for the weekend and just to be able to relax. Man, I was like, I'm re getting really warm, and then I couldn't figure out why. I'm like, why am I so hot? Well, one, I have on a jacket. And two, I have Draco. Oh my God, I cannot wait to thank Hannah for this. This is hysterical. I love her so much. Okay, I'll talk to you guys uh, in a bit. Okay, I just sent Hannah like the most unhinged voice message thanking her, but I just put on my Manon shirt. I'm so in love. We are going to go eat and then go to the bookstore. Okay, so just had Outback Steakhouse and I had one margarita and I am like tipsy. I haven't drank since Wisconsin and we had like these like wine, what were they? Fresco? The little wine things we had with Hannah and Brandon. Anyway, so we're gonna go to Barnes and Noble and Jake's gonna buy me a book. I'm not right, Jake. Sure. So anyway, yeah.
we're back from dinner and book shopping. We stopped at the grocery store to get a little treat. Got some cookies and some like, it's like this like cake pudding stuff. And then I think I'm gonna try to hop on like a video call with some friends to talk about a fan fiction. I'm gonna see if they're still talking because I don't even know what time it is right now. My phone's in the other room. I'm gonna see if they're still doing that and then if they are, then I'll hop on. But I got a little book haul. So I wanna show you guys what I got. Um, Jakey Poo treated me, so thank you to Jake. <laughs> um, I did not buy these, but technically, you know, it's still going towards my limit. So I did really good in January and in February. My max is four new books a month, right? February, so far, I think I've already bought two. I mean, March, we're in March. I think I've already bought two new books. So I'm definitely over my limit because I got one, two, three, four, five <laughs> new books. First off, we have Where the Dark Stands Still. This was a cover buy because I don't know anything at all about this book. It is YA, so I don't know, it's probably gonna be hit or miss. It was on sale, it was 20% off, so love that. I love the green hardcover. Um, but yeah, look at this cover. It is just like really, really, really pretty. I'm gonna take off this because look at that, that is so pretty. And I'm also gonna take off this sticker, this YA book club sticker. This one's more difficult to take off. Okay, that's great. That one, I'm gonna have to figure out how to take that off because I'm gonna have to get like some goo stuff or something because that one's not going to come off. But yeah. Oh, look at the back. That is so cool. So let me know if you've heard anything about this. Liska. That's a cool name. Liska knows that magic is monstrous and its practitioners are monsters. She has done everything possible to suppress her own magic to disastrous consequence. Qu qu la la consequences. <laughs> Desperate to be free of it, Liska flees her small village and delves into the dangerous demon infested spirit wood to steal a mythical fern flower. Honestly, oh! No, I quickly, I'm literally forgetting. This is how like ADHD brain small minded I am because, which I actually do have ADHD. I'm not just one of those like <laughs> quirky, I was diagnosed like six years ago. So I do have ADHD, like confirmed, diagnosed. But anyway, <laughs> what I was like feeling to say, um, How's Moving Castle. Before I buy books, I do look up Goodreads ratings, you know, and that's what people were saying. So I was like, say less. How's Moving Castle? obsessed I love so then I got which Jess from peace love books literally was like don't read this it sucks but <laughs> you know if he had been with me um in my last book shopping vlog or I was like book shopping in my last reading vlog one of my last vlogs the one before my last one and I did like a little zoom over and I was like, should I read this duology? And I think like two people, at least one person, they were like, yes, you should read it. So, but okay, to justify, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so I, I got both. I really love this cover. Okay, and it's Barnes & Noble exclusive and like, this is so pretty. I'm not gonna lie. I've seen this in Barnes & Noble so many times and I would not have picked it up. But this, but this, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm a sucker for a red cover with a red rose on it. Like this one. Depressing, sad. I'm not drawn to it. But this, give it to me. Give it to me. I want it. I want that cover. 
So truly, this is why. This is why. I could like, this could be like a purchase that I, I really regret, which I mean, Jake bought it. So thank you, Jake. But like our finances, you know, it's like the same. So they were not too expensive. It's $12.99 and then I had a discount, a Barnes & Noble discount. But look at the, um, I love that. That's so pretty. So yeah, I'm just like a real sucker for that. Okay, and then I got volume nine of Spy Family. Obsessed with the series, which honestly, I should go check my bookshelves to make sure I don't have this volume. I'm pretty sure I don't. Anyway, I really love this series. So I also got volume 10. I know I don't have this one. Like I know for a fact, I have not read this. Um, so yeah, I'm trying to think if, cause I've read the whole series up until the ones I own and I might have read this. I should have checked uh, at least Goodreads. Let me, <laughs> which by the way, I have this Draco blanket in my, oh my, I just remembered my phone's in my, in the other room. Okay, anyway, I have this, the Draco blanket in my lap and I'm just like so obsessed. Where's his face? Where's his little face? There it is. Man, his ear, it's like right there, okay. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, those are the books I got. So I'm gonna have to start keeping better track of the books that I buy. Well, I, I wanna keep track of every single book that I buy or that I get, receive as a gift, whatever. Um, because in prior years, I just haven't kept like a list and I'm going to, I'm going to start that now, like add it to an Excel sheet or something. Um, but yeah, it's been a great Friday night to really jumping and pumping and thriving. Anyway, I don't even know what I'm saying. All I'm saying is, um, I'm going to go get my little treat and then we either, we might watch a movie Oh, I also need to check Discord to see if the girlies are still online. Um, anyway, yeah, talk to you guys probably tomorrow. Ugh, my plans tomorrow are tonight I'm going to finish editing uh, my last reading vlog so I can get that published and up on YouTube by Sunday. I might do some reading on my Kindle tonight. I'm excited for that because when the moon hatched and tomorrow I think I'm just going to be reading. So I'm excited. I really live for the weekends because I get so much reading done during the weekends and it's truly, it's, it's magical. Cause like, I can just like, like yes, after work I can read, but sometimes there's just a lot of my mind and it's harder, but on the weekends I can just like bang the books out. You know what I'm saying? Like really bang them out. Oh, I love this blanket so much. It actually matches, look at this. It matches the blanket I'm making. And that is such a vibe. Bye. Okay, this is truly the time to be alive. I have my little remote clicker, I got Stitch, I got my water bottle, my blanket that I have not been knitting, my headphones if I need them. It's pretty quiet in here though. And then my new Draco blanket from Hannah. TBR looks super beautiful today. It's Saturday. I'm 
extremely sleepy. I am going to read some of this. Just like being very cozy today. Really no complaints other than like I'm really sleepy. I'll let you guys know how I feel about this book though. I'm gonna keep reading. I'm not okay. I'm not okay. I'm not okay and I'm not okay with what's happened. Oh my god. I'm so sad. What the fuck? What the fuck? No. I'm upset. No. No, not, not this. No. Too many blows. I'm getting too many painful hits at once and I can't do this. Y'all, this book is so good. I, oh my God, I'm 148 pages in and my soul has been shattered. Not once, but twice. And like, I'm not even playing around. Like, I was not, I was not prepared. This is me thinking that this is gonna be a silly little whimsical fantasy. Oh, I had another thing coming. This is not. I would die for these characters already, okay? And I'm only 100-ish pages in and I would die for them. And that, that says something, okay? That really says something. My physical copy is not coming in until like March 18th. I ordered this book a couple days ago. Before I started, <laughs> because I was like, uh, let me just get it, let me just get it, let me just get it. I will gather my thoughts and give you a more concise how I feel right now, but it's very character driven. <laughs> oh my God. I'm upset right now. I can't think. I can't talk. Okay, today is Sunday and I have so much to talk to you guys about. Oh my gosh. For one, if you saw on that B-roll, my thumb is like wonky. Apparently it's called trigger finger. So I have like this like cast on it and yeah, we're, we're healing. Second, I finally, y'all finally got the audiobook to 100 Years War on Palestine. I requested this audiobook, I think early, early January. I got this book early January, late December. Can't remember which. I think it was late December. Oh my god, I started the audiobook. Y'all, it is so good so far. Like, the narrator is just so good. I am not a nonfiction girly. Like, let me just tell you, I have smooth brain, okay? Like, things just kind of, like, fall off my brain, and I just, I'm not a scholar, okay? Like, I'm really, I'm really not. But... I have been trying to educate myself on what's been going on in Palestine. I, I'm sorry, I did not know like what was going on. Like 
the Western news does not report this shit. And I'm just not an educated girly, but I'm trying, okay? Like, I really am trying. And so I picked this book up and it is already making me very emotional. Not because, well, I mean, obviously, like, the subject matter is emotional in general, right? Because colonization is emotional. What I'm trying to say is, if you are not a nonfiction girly like myself, just please put, like, request the audiobook from your library because I am, like, 20 pages in or something. And I mean, I'm re listening to everything on audio so I can get caught back up but it's really, really good so far. I'm floored. I have it on pretty low speed. I normally listen to my books on two times speed. This one I only have on like 1.5 times speed, but this is gonna be my audiobook for the foreseeable future. And I'm really, really excited about it. Like I couldn't be more thrilled. Okay, I finally have this audiobook. And then I have, I wanna talk about When the Moon Hatched. I, yesterday I read about 200 pages. Let's see how far I got. So I'm on page 218. And that was with me, like, you know, we were running errands and I literally was reading this while Jake was plant shopping and in the car even, which I get car sick if I read, but y'all, I was doing it. I was like, I don't even care. I didn't get car sick mainly because like I had my hair covering up the window. So it was like, I don't know if that makes any sense. So it's probably sound crazy, but y'all, I have things I want to talk about for when the moon hatched, which I've been calling it when the moon birthed like as like a joke i do like the title so essentially this is a very very character driven story right which i love i love character driven fantasies i love them so much especially oh if you can make me want to die for the characters within 100 pages i'm sold and that's currently me knee essie which knee is one like this like bird it's like a a paper bird i don't even fucking know it's like this creature and i would die for knee i would die for essie essie is like her best friend ever oh i would just die for these characters and the world is very very interesting it's like so the societal classes so to speak which i don't know if that's the right way to put it but they're like divided by folk who can hear these like elemental songs versus those who can't. So people, so the folk, cause I don't even know if they're actual people, the folk who can hear the elemental songs, essentially they get exploited. Um, like as a child, they have to go to this truth teller. I think it's called truth teller. These people that have this gift and then they can discern whether or not this child has is gifted or not. And then if they're gifted, they get exploited, right? You can basically tell who has what gift based on like the jewelry they wear and that kind of thing. I'm probably not explaining this very well, but it's very interesting to me. And right off the bat, I had noticed that the author chose to refer to the males as males. So when you refer to someone like as female or male you're taking away like the humanization from them so i think it's really interesting when people refer to anyone any person as a male or female because it's like you're stripping away the the human part of it because anything can be male or human or male or female right like a dog a cat you know a dolphin a frog a duck a sloth a koala you know what i'm saying like it doesn't equate to human being right so i think because at first i was like why is she calling them males and i'm like now it's like clicked that i'm like i think that was a choice by the author because i don't know if this world i don't even know if they're humans i really don't like I, maybe I just have missed that. So we're following Rave, who is the female main character and she has a very, very strong sense of justice. And I'm obsessed with her. I, I can one, relate very much to like her sense of justice and okay, I'm not as powerful and as cool and as badass as some of the things that she has done. Like I'm just like not that cool, but I can still relate to that sense of, justice you know what i'm saying and just so many of the quotes okay so many of the quotes and rave essentially she got her blood put into this like rune like a vial or whatever 
And so there's this person that can control her kind of in like a, in a way, not like control her like movements, but you know, if this person tells her to do something and she doesn't do it, she can like scrape her nails on this rune and it just like basically makes rave i don't know if that's how you say it it's r-a-e-v-e -E. she can make rave like really really upset right by scraping her nails on this like vial of blood or whatever which this character's name is serene so she's serene is like the villain right and then the scenery is another thing the writing is very very flowery and it was throwing me off at first i'm not gonna lie i was like i am too dumb for this like truly but i just was like intrigued so like i read the the prologue and then the first chapter like what i was brain dead and i got through it it was fine i didn't read the beginning with all of like the dictionary part skip that i i don't i can't deal with that right it's fine you can skip that part and then i started reading the second chapter yesterday and so forth and I don't know at what point I was like, I can't put this book down, but... There was a point where I was like, I don't want to put this book down. And then there was a point where I was like, I refuse to put this fucking book down. Like, I refuse. And then I got to the point where I was like, I actually can't put this book down. Even if I wanted to, you would have to grip it out of my dead f***ing hands. So that's where I was at yesterday. And I actually I did have to put the book down because I needed to finish editing a vlog. So I gave myself up until 6 p.m. to read yesterday and I, I did that. Well, I like did chores and showered and read in between any chance I could, right? And then I started editing and I got my vlog edited and uploaded this morning. So great job, Lachlan, pat on the back for that. So anyway, then we get a second point of view for Khan. K-A-A, K, sorry, K-A, I had a stroke just now. K-A, K-A, there's two, K-A, a N. Wow. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Con. We get his point of view. Mm, man. Okay. When I tell you, so, oh my God. I don't know. I don't know what's a, I'm not going to talk spoilers. Okay. But let's just say our girly gets captured, right? And Con shows up. He shows up. That's all I'm going to say. He shows up. I am in love. I am in love. Because not only is Rave, she's like dealing with trauma for sure. She f hates males. Male specimen she despises. For a good reason, right? And Khan is, he is like, he, the quotes. I think one quote, it says like, I would never take pleasure from you if it wasn't fully given. That's basically like a rough quote because, you know, I have that shit almost memorized. He says, I would never take pleasure from you or from anyone if it wasn't fully given. Oh my God. <laughs> yes, I'm obsessed. And then we have a third character. Her name is Kaizari or their name, because honestly, I don't even know at this point. Kaizari is Khan's niece and she has like this necklace that she's been wearing since childhood that silences her mind and there's like this like thing trapped inside of it and oh my god I don't even know what the fuck is going on in this book but I am just telling you right now it is 10 30 right and I am so excited to pick this book back up like I am thrilled I'm beyond ecstatic I'm just um having a great time with it and there's like so many quotes around her trauma and like just revenge and i'm so here for it like oh my god oh this book is putting me through the ringer and like i mean it in the best way which is so crazy because i really was so skeptical like i've been so skeptical of fantasy romance on kindle unlimited for years now like very ever since like 2021 i've been burned so many times by series that people love and i, I read them and i'm like i can't i don't like it at all for whatever reason, you know, but this, I mean, this shit up. And it's a crime against humanity that I have to wait until the end of March to get my book because that's how backordered it is, I guess. Like, normally a book would be here in like two days if I ordered it. But yeah, it's, it's going to take a little while. I'm really excited. I'm really, like, I'm having the best reading experience with this. Now, could it go downhill? It totally could. It totally could. But so far, 
the characters are what I'm living for and like the scenery obviously in the world and there's so many moments where like it's just like so cozy like they're talking about baking and like oh my god I'm just like yes I love 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 the characters whenever it comes to character driven fantasy if you don't like the characters you're not going to like the book because you know to me this just that just goes hand in hand character driven fantasy you have to like the characters to really enjoy the book right and also I can see how the writing will stump throw people off because the writing is like it's just very very flowery and it's like bam in your face I'll keep you guys posted I'm gonna shut up now so I can read okay now it's 11 a.m. have I read not yet because this device so I'm gonna throw this shit in the trash can and then pick up my Kindle. <laughs> this can I just say this setup with the Kindle hands-free I have my little remote and I'm ready to rot <laughs> like literally gonna rot in bed all day I love it one thing I forgot to mention to you guys whenever I was updating my thoughts on the book is Rave is super oh my gosh I love her like banter like the sassiness and her sarcasm and her like dry humor I'm just obsessed I I love her I would die for her I'm just saying truly she's a magnificent y'all I'm feral I am feral for this book oh my god there's her comfort there's her comfort. There's her comfort. But it's like, okay. Her comfort doesn't hit hard every time, okay? It has to be done in a very specific way. Like, it has to be like in, done in combination of other things. And this is like, it's like the ingredients just like perfected. Oh my god. I'm gagged. Like, I'm gonna throw up. That's how much I'm loving this. Oh my god. No, oh, it's so good. It's so good. Oh okay, I'm gonna say this quote. It's not a spoiler, which, by the way, this vlog is not gonna have spoilers. None of my vlogs do, unless it's like explicitly stated. But this quote, out of context, it's not gonna make any sense to you, but I just wanna say it. He smelled good. I fucked up. Let's not dwell on it. <laughs> just, I'm like, yeah, don't make any assumptions about that quote. Because the context around it is actually really funny. And uh, anyway, okay, I'm just going to keep reading. I'm so, I'm just in love. I'm in love and I don't care who knows it. I'm in love, I'm in love and I don't care who knows it. <laughs> Elf, anyone? Okay. There are dragons. 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 There are dragons. Okay, I'm on page 274. <laughs> this entire, the entire past sequences of events has me feral. I am obsessed. I'm so obsessed. I really, the banter, <laughs> every word that comes out of your mouth is sharp. Oh my god. We thud on the ground so hard my canine pierces my bottom lip. Con pulls back. <laughs> he clicks his tongue. The rough pad of his thumb dragging across my bottom lip with such tenderness. Every muscle in my body poises for a few rigid moments before my brain has a chance to recalibrate. Oh my gosh. Shoving up, I pulled my head above the water and gasped for breath just in time to see a bar of soap spearing in my head. I dodge it and then scramble to scoop it out of the water and throw it back at the way it came. You smell bad. Soap fixes that, he says, picking it up and tossing it back at me, splashing it in my face. I snatch it, pelting it at his crotch. You need it more than I do. I've got my own soap he growls catching it just before it can make obliterating contact with his oh my god 
Like, everything about this is, like, utter perfection. Utter perfection. I... yes. Okay, yet another thing I have to talk about. Again, non-spoiler. The dragons even, like, <laughs> the dragon had a tick, right? But it's like this huge ass dragon. So the tick isn't like a bug that would be on a dog, right? It was like a, kind of like a monster type thing, like a creature. And it was being explained that like, by the character that took the tick out, that if dragons get the ticks and they're not like taken care of immediately, the tick has a poison that can make the dragon go basically feral and will destroy cities, towns, like it basically makes the dragon go crazy and it'll just like demolish entire realms, right? And I'm like, that is so cool. Like I, I'm not, I don't know, I'm just obsessed. Cause I love reading about dragons. I love that detail. You know, it's like those little details that make up the big picture. And that is what I love. It's currently 1.30 and I'm only on <laughs> page 286. I had to like go make the bed and do laundry and vacuum. And so I've been doing like random stuff and I've been reading slower, but yeah, I want to like at least read 200 pages today. Hopefully more, that's my goal. Good. Soup. Good soup. Oh my god. This good soup. Last night I read a book about koalas. I gave it five stars. It was very short. I am like 80% into When the Moon Hatched. I'm not gonna lie, the 50 to 75% was a drag. I was like really trying to get through that shit, y'all. It was dragging. I'll talk more on this in a bit. Anyway, I wanted to just say, I just got done listening to the podcast this week's episode, How Does Toxic Positivity Affect Us? This is episode six for Gabbing It Up. And I just want to give them a shout out because I love their podcast so much. Like, I have never found so much comfort in listening to... Two girls gabbing it up. <laughs> okay, this is not focusing. Why is it not focusing? I did not realize they were like ghosts the entire time I was talking. Every Wednesday morning... I'll be listening to them while I'm like working and stuff and I just am obsessed. Two days later. Okay, so I finally finished When the Moon Hatched and I have I have thoughts. Once I hit the like 60% mark, things started to get a little bit slow and I was like really trudging along. The last 40% was probably the most difficult for me to get through and I don't know if it was because like I was just, you know, not having a great time Mentally, I, I really don't know like what it was. Maybe it was the writing. Okay, no, I actually, I kind of do know. So in the beginning, we were getting like a bunch of these cute character moments that I was really obsessed with. Like so obsessed with, as y'all saw. And I kind of like, that kind of stopped happening. Yeah, it was just like, I think in the beginning, I was like so willing to look past 
some of because the writing does make my brain melt a little bit but I was like kind of living for it at the same time because it was so interesting and like it was just like I was eating it up and then once we stopped getting like the cute things that I was just like living for the writing just started to stand out so much to me and it was like really bothering me and then it became like a chore to finish the book now don't get me wrong there were definitely super good super good moments there were good moments in the last half like i'm not saying that there weren't but for some reason it was just like a chore to get through it was like swallowing nails and i know that's dramatic sounds dramatic but like it just I was like why can I not finish this book it was 300 pages too long that's really how I feel about it I feel like it was way too long I was having a hard time picturing a lot of the descriptions like at one point the author was like describing this like creature and it was described as a velvet trog and I'm like listen I don't want to go in the in the glossary in the dictionary I have to like click on my Kindle to go do that. And I don't want to look up what a velvet trog is or what a trog is and like what that even like looks like. And I was like falling asleep reading a lot of the last half. So I kept having to reread sentences and passages. And if I had a dollar for every time that she mentioned she wanted to get revenge on Wreck, I would have a lot of money. I was just like, all right, we get it. Like she wants revenge on Rec, but like, when is she gonna get revenge on Rec? And this is, it's definitely, to me, it's a very character driven story because the plot wasn't, like things were happening, but at the same time, I was kind of like, isn't the main thing that she wants to like get revenge? And I feel like that's not happening. And so things were definitely happening, but it just wasn't, the pacing was different because in the beginning, I feel like it was just so bam. Ugh, I just tried snapping and I literally can't with this cast on. It was like bam, bam, thank you, ma'am. And then it's just kind of flatlined. And there was a point where the characters were gambling in this like, I don't remember where they were, but they were gambling, okay? And I was just like, why are we sitting here watching these characters gamble? And so yeah, there was a bit of a good chunk of the story, a good chunk of the book where I was just like, I felt like it was, it started to just get very painful for me to read. And I was like, okay, I'm not enjoying this as much. But at the same time, I didn't want a DNF because I was like, I want to see like how it ends. Obviously, I'm like invested in the story, but it just needed to be shorter. Around 80% mark, I felt like it started to get good again. And I started to enjoy it a little bit more and definitely like the last probably two chapters were pretty good was i disappointed with the ending kind of yes actually because it ended and i was like that's it we already knew i felt like there was going to be some kind of reveal i'm not saying that there were not reveals i don't know i just felt like i read a 700 page book and it just wasn't as like satisfying as i thought it was going to be basically. I obviously in the beginning of this video was like so obsessed with this book and I stand by all of those feelings. So I don't know how I'm going to rate this. I think probably a four star because I felt so strongly in the beginning. The second half, I just was not impressed. So that's my thoughts on When the Moon Hatched. As I was finishing it, I was already thinking about what am I going to pick up next because I need something just like digestible, easy to read, something where I don't have to reread passages and I can just inhale it and I can just eat it up, right? I don't know why I'm doing this with my hands. Okay. I picked up Hopeless by Elsie Silver. This is on my March TBR. So I am very excited for this. I am currently 26 pages in. We follow Bo and what is her name? Bailey. Bo and Bailey. That's cute. And Bo is, he has like a PTSD from being in the Canada military. And so he like drinks alcohol to like help him sleep. And when I first started this, I was like very wary because I've not heard amazing things. But now I'm actually really, really excited because I'm oh gonna get this. So he 
goes to this bar that she works at and she's like, you know, why are you drinking so much alcohol? And he's like, it helps me sleep. And it's a small town and oh my God, I'm doing a great job describing this. I'm actually doing a horrible job. But anyway, so he notices that she is like alone and like closes alone. And then he's like, this isn't safe. You know, you should be here by yourself or whatever. And she's like, it's fine, whatever. And then he asks her what days she works. And then she says what days. And then he comes to the bar to drink chamomile tea. So he doesn't have to drive home drunk just to make sure that she gets home safely. I really have high hopes now for this book. Like I really hope I love their dynamic. I know that it does have big dating. So we'll see how that plays out. I'm like, I, I really like him so far. I will not finish this book in this vlog because for one, this vlog, I was editing the footage the other day and it is already so long. And I'm also sorry because I know that I posted on my Instagram story, I was like, put a little poll and I was like, oh, should I post the vlog this week? And I was like, instead of on Sunday? And it was, I really thought I was gonna finish when the mood hatched. When the mood hatched. Like the next day and it did not happen. I thought I was gonna binge the rest of the book and that just didn't happen. Like I was so tired after work and I just couldn't, I was like, like I said, I was falling asleep and I kept having to reread stuff. So that did not happen, obviously. So I am sorry if I like misled anyone thinking that I just, I really, sometimes I get super excited and then I'm like, I feel like I can do this. And then the day comes and then I'm like, life happens, you know? Anyway, so that's that. I'm also a hundred pages into um, hundred years war on Palestine. This is the audiobook that I currently am listening to like in the morning, you know, I'm getting ready and then just like randomly throughout the day. So. I have been playing this pretty slowly so that I can get everything. Now, I'm not like a scholar, so I really can't explain this book to you. It, you know, talks about how we got here today. The war on Palestine, the Nekba, everything leading up to this. I mean, this was actually published in 2020. So obviously this has been going on for a, a while. How the fuck did we get to this place? Like, how are we killing all of these people? And why is this being allowed? And it's, this is very, very eye-opening and just kind of reaffirming everything that I have learned thus far. But then there's a lot of information that I'm just like, this is insane. Like people are so racist. So this is going really, really well. And I'm taking my time with this. Those are the books that I'm currently in the middle of. Yeah, I need to close out this vlog. We're like going on an hour plus, I don't even know. So if you made it this far and you want to let me know, you can leave the, leave a little like duck hatching out of the egg because every time I typed in when the moon hatched, that little like hatchling baby duck comes up. So leave that emoji. If you did like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and to subscribe to my channel. And you can also follow me on Instagram and I have more content on Patreon if you're interested in that. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.